U.S. security experts have called ISIS the most dangerous terrorist group our country has dealt with. And today we are learning that a Minnesota man died while fighting for them. Family members learned yesterday that uh, Douglas McCain died over the weekend. CNN says McCain was among three foreign members of ISIS killed during that fighting. He attended Robbinsdale Cooper High School. His Twitter account says he reverted to Islam about 10 years ago. Of course, our newsroom's been busy following the story all day long. We want to begin our reports with Esme Murphy, who's been tracking uh, some new developments. Esme? Well, Frank, we can tell you that a cousin tells us that the State Department called the family yesterday and told them of Douglas McCain's death. That cousin said family members are devastated. And McCain's sister said on her Facebook page that she could not believe this is the way her brother died. From various sources, we can report that Douglas McCain seemed every bit the normal high schooler when he attended Robbinsdale Cooper High School from 1996 until 2000. The school district says he never graduated. According to a friend and reports on social media, he enjoyed basketball and rap music. For a time, he lived in this New Hope apartment complex with family members. Starting in 2000, he had a series of minor run-ins with local law enforcement. Starting in 2000, he was arrested for disorderly conduct, theft, and minor marijuana possession. This is a mugshot from a 2008 arrest for giving police false information. On social media, he called himself Diwale, the slave of Allah. In a May 2014 post on Twitter, he says he reverted to Islam 10 years ago. Reports on social media say earlier in the summer, he was in Turkey, a common entryway for entrance for militants into Syria. Details of how he died have not emerged, but the fighting between ISIS rebels and pro-government forces in both Syria and Iraq has been fierce. His sister, who lives in California, posted this on her Facebook today, writing, I never thought this will be the way we say goodbye. And CBS News has confirmed that Douglas McCain died while fighting for ISIS near Aleppo, which is in Syria, and that a U.S. passport was found in his pocket. Now, there's still obviously many unanswered questions here, among them when and exactly how McCain became militant and became a part of ISIS. From his arrest records, we know he was in Minnesota as recently as 2008. We also know from public records that his most recent address in the U.S. was in San Diego. All right, Esme, troubling. Thank you. Of course, uh, we'll have much more on this developing story for you coming up on the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley.